Party seeks power for its own sake, not as a means, but an end. Power over the human mind, and because we control the mind. Reality is inside the skull, Winston. We control the laws of nature. The stars are not light years, but a few kilometers away. If we wished, we could blot them out. I talk about it all the time how Hollywood and the music industry is controlled by masons at the top. These are the so-called enlightened ones, and these musicians are given lyrics to their songs. I'm going to play a few examples, not only with the song lyrics, but with visuals as well, giving us hints in a form of mockery as well of, of the flat earth. First off, let's take a look at this new discovery with this band based in Australia called Olympic Eris. Just take a listen to the very beginning of this song. I'll get more into the song itself where it gets to the basically the middle part of the song. So take a listen to what it said at the very start. Think for yourself. You have to be willing to, to cut against the grain and get the distance from your peer group. Think for yourself. You must be able to distance yourself from the peer group. That's what it's all about, thinking for yourself. And very few can do that. They have to have group think. Think as a group. If everybody believes a certain thing, it must be true, when in reality, that's exactly how they control the minds of the masses with this type of think. Let's take a listen to what is said here. It's about a minute and a half into the, into the lyrics, into the music video. Take a listen. Set sail into the storm on a voyage to the moon. Talk about taking a voyage to the moon. And I've mentioned it many times. The whole purpose of the supposed moon landing was not to go to the moon. It was all about showing these phony, fake images of the ball earth. As I showed before, these images of the so-called ball earth, the blue marble, where nothing adds up. You look at 2012, the size of the United States. And you look over here, for example, 1997. Look how small it looks. Different color, different size. Nothing adds up with any of these. Just more mockery. Now, just a few seconds after that clip I just showed, take a listen to what is said after they make a reference to the moon. Let's take a look at those lyrics. When they say Earth was flat, my mind search for the truth. I know it's, and it stops there. I know it's, of course, again, these lyrics are given to these performers, these so-called artists. Stated many times how those behind the scenes look for those with talent and give them lyrics to these songs. They're not from them. People can believe that all they want. Just like this song here with Toto, a very famous band. Just take a listen to what it said here. Once again, you'll get the whole concept to understand it's not from them. It's from people behind the scenes that give them these lyrics to these songs. You'll just believe what they heard. Channels were three. And it brings me back to this quote, which I showed many times with Richard Nixon. Again, no hero, but again, the truth. This is how they do it. The American people don't believe anything until they see it on television. That's the absolute truth. People search for truth where there's none on tell a vision or tell live vision. Now to continue on the lyrics with Toto, just take a listen to what is said here. So Someone tell me, how can we believe the world is round? Okay, now let's go back in time here with George Michael and this song, this music video called Careless Whisper, going back to the 80s. They're not saying it with the words here, but definitely visuals. That's what they're telling you about the flat earth. Take a look at these, this video. I'm going to play a very short clip. Completely flat horizon. This is filmed in Miami in this one tower. Take a look. Flat as a pancake. Completely flat. Okay? Look how small the sun is. People see the sun at times and looks much larger, and that tells you 
the sun is not 93 million miles away. If so, the size of the sun will, would remain constant. And again, the flat horizon, completely flat. And even more recently with this music video, they show the vantage point looking out at the horizon. Can you see the window? In the frame itself. So you can get a comparison how flat it is. No doubt about it. No doubt about it in my mind how they basically came up with this concept for this music video and they show that flat horizon. Another example. The World Trade Center. This footage was taken two years before the towers came down. You see the top of the tower here. You can see how flat the horizon is. Take a look. This person pans, I'm sure, unknowingly. They're going to pan across the horizon and you see how flat it is. People don't understand what's right in front of them. Flat again as a pancake. And once you understand the lies of the so-called ball earth. Just take a look at what science says. The supposed radius of the earth is from the very, let's get to the top or any side or bottom to the core. 3,959 miles. That's it? Does it make sense? Basically, when it comes down to it, take a look here, as I show many times, the curvature chart, the supposed curvature chart of the, the blue marble break it all down again just for reference 3959 miles the radius this is how you come up with these calculations before i show this once again first mile is eight inches then it's, it's drastic when it goes squared second mile is 32 inches 72 inches and so forth so at three miles there should be six feet of curvature when you get to 60 miles it's 2400 feet of curvature supposedly it's almost a half a mile. So again, when you take a look here, how long is this horizon? Okay, what's the? How many miles is this horizon? And there's absolutely no curvature. Again, looking at this chart, at 60 miles, it's almost a half a mile, and you see nothing. You don't see curvature whatsoever. Now, show this before getting into the Illuminati card game, where they tell us the truth. It what seems absolutely ridiculous. I show many examples. Of course, they make the, the whole concept of the flat Earth look ridiculous with this boat falling over the side. Read the text. People laugh, but the flat earthers know something. For those that know anything about the Illuminati card game, once again, they give us truth in what seems ridiculous. Movies, TV shows, comedy. And again, this card game. It's like I showed many times with this jogger's card with the woman wearing a green tank top and where it states at the very bottom no one ever suspects a harmless jogger okay this card like the others were released in 1995 these are older cards okay they're not you know, released after the fact people think oh these are just some you know fake phony cards that you know people created they're not real well think again you can go online and buy them yourself on ebay or amazon these are real cards they even have a hoax card, okay? I'm telling you. Now, just for reference, take a look at this footage. Again, getting back to the woman wearing green. No one suspects a harmless jogger. Then you see this footage from the Boston Marathon hoax bombing. Take a look. So I've shown many times before, the woman in green. Take a look at the explosion. Nothing more than a smoke bomb in... Take a look as she throws something behind her, which I believe is the detonator for the smoke bomb itself. And look at the old man behind. He tries to catch it. And he falls down doing so. And there's the woman in green. Okay, right in front of your face. Now to go a little bit deeper, let's take a look again. Obviously she knows it's going to take place because she's behind, which I believe is setting off the detonation. Take a look at the joggers in front. They don't even react. You're going to see her cover her ears. Because again, she knows it's coming. Right away. There she goes. Covering her ears. And these joggers, they're just running. Look at her covering her ears. Okay? And they act like nothing. Nothing's happening. No big deal. She's still covering her ears. 
what's the deal with that so obviously this bombing is not as bad as they portray this guy's looking over here but again it's nothing more than a smoke bomb these people still have their back turned supposedly took place they all know what's going to happen of course now again to go any, even deeper take a look right after the supposed bombing nothing more than a smoke bomb and you're going to see the cameraman basically run straight to the supposed bombing site it's a real bomb you wouldn't do that you'd run in the opposite direction take a look okay he sees it there he goes straight to it makes no sense whatsoever okay makes no sense people going straight to the scene again there's your illuminati card this is how they do it might sound, seem like a stupid you know card game you're gonna base your facts on a stupid card game well this is how the psychopaths work they put things they put the truth in what seemingly seems ridiculous once again now as i shown before with these cards taking a look here at this pentagon card they also have the, the world trade center they show that as well and as you can see just about at the spot where the plane supposedly hit the towers it's shown here before with donald trump and this one specific card it says enough is enough and this is Donald Trump's slogan. You heard him say this many times on TV, enough's enough. And again, going back to 1995, and here's the card. Okay? And underneath, another, what I believe could, is going to be predicted programming, at any time, at any place, our snipers can drop you. Have a nice day. Okay? There you go. Just a close-up. Kind of hard to see. States are right, right underneath once again. At any time. At any place, our snipers can drop you. Interesting enough, today is the day the debate start with Hillary Clinton with Donald Trump. Okay, let's take, take a look here as well. Going back in time with Alex Jones and Ron Paul. Two Masons in the game. Alex Jones is 33 in numerology as well. I mean, give me a break if you can't see the resemblance. You don't think these two are the same. Going back to 1995, even here. When it comes to Princess Diana, Princess Di, this is part of the script with her supposedly dying in that tunnel in France, Dodi Fayed. Here also as well with France, huge into Freemasonry. France has always loved liberal causes. You know, of course, what happened supposedly took place with the terrorist attacks in Paris, France. So again, our reality is scripted. The psychopaths tell us what they're going to do before they do it and this is this is our reality whatever they tell us is the exact opposite that includes getting back to the ball supposed ball earth people believe we live on a spinning ball and all they give us are these fake phony images if people want to debate this entire ball earth flat earth topic before you do so if you want to start a debate with me specifically show me a real image of the ball earth and tell that you don't have a debate that simple I'm just living out the American dream And I just realized that nothing is what it seems And the men who hold high places Must be the ones who start To mold a new reality Closer to the heart Closer to the heart